In today's video, we're opening a first edition Soul of the Duelist Hobby Box with potential at the ultimate rare Horus. We have a first edition Soul of the Duelist Hobby Box we're opening today. First edition in black, which is, I think, maybe the only time they did that was in this uh so very cool it's a hobby box as you can tell from this code right here beautiful minty box like an incredible shape this thing looks absolutely amazing in terms of condition which means we shouldn't open it let's get into it let's open it up this is gonna hurt a little bit because this thing should not be open in the condition it's in but we're gonna do we're gonna okay what, what's there's like some tape on the end of this thing okay here we go oh there it goes that's the end of it that's the end of the sealed box, but maybe that means there's going to be something crazy inside. All right, it wasn't it wasn't completely perfect. See, it's a little it's a little uh little bent right there. See, so it wasn't perfect. That's fine. All right, let's see what we can do. One of my favorite sets. Uh Soul of the Duelist is absolutely amazing. If it only had more cards in it, right? It only has like what, 60 card set or something. If it had more cards, it'd be great. There's some really amazing cards in here. I love green. It's like my probably my favorite color. So I really enjoy the look of it. I feel like the packs don't look as good as the box. You know, it's a little bit darker. I still like the look of them, but I love the look of the box. Like the green, it really is amazing. Arm Dragon ultis would be huge. Uh, Horus ultis would be huge. Any ultra ulti like, uh, what's it? Inferno Fire Blast or whatever it's called. It's actually called, uh, is it is it Inferno Fire Blast? Whatever that thing's called. That's pretty amazing. Don't shuffle them like that. We do it all the time. It's totally fine. It's it, they, they don't they don't hurt each other. Don't you worry. Here's the only thing I don't like about the box art. I don't like that they put it in a square like a card. I like I wish it was more extended like the other ones. Okay, here's the box. Let's start off with number one, which is Michael. Uh, we have a lot of Michaels today, by the way. There's like three Michaels. Michael O, one pack. Let's see what we can pull. First edition, Soul of the Duelist. Can we pull an ultimate rare? Okay, these packs are opening nice. Like these are these are opening real nice. I like this. Okay, Skull Dog Marin, the sad Skull Dog. All right, four from the back it should be the correct pack trick. Push this thing back. Okay, Element Soldier. Starting out with pack number one, we have Heavy Slump, Element Dragon, Big Wave, Small Wave. The Skull Dog Marin, a lost dog that wandered off 1,000 years ago. He's still waiting for his master to come for him. Poor guy. Poor guy. Arm Dragon level 3. You might see this. Some of this coming in Wield, uh, Wield Goat very soon. So keep an eye on Wield Goat. Uh, yeah, that might be coming to you very soon. We have Red Eyes Bee Chick. The Taunt. And we have our first card is a Horus, the Black Flame Dragon level 4. This is only a rare, but this might be a good sign of things to come. Here we go. That is a Horus, the Black Flame Dragon. Beautiful level 4 very awesome hope you guys are enjoying the video for the giveaway we'll be giving away this first edition elemental hero phoenix enforcer just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications and let me know down below what do you think about the set soul of the duelist let's get back to it okay jesse p one pack magic up next all right soul of the duelist first edition let's pull something crazy let's pull an ultimate rare let's go one two three four we have Enrage Mooka Mooka. GG Vision just entered the chat. The king of the Horus level 8 himself. He pulled one. Maybe that'll bring us the luck we need. Dark Factory. We have Horus Servant. Graveyard in the fourth dimension. Ninjutsu Art of Decoy. Hate Hain. This is not Hain Hain. It's Hate Hain. This is the tribute summon. You have to tribute set actually to get the effect. Pretty crazy. I mean, he, he could flip. He could return three monsters. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. Fusion weapon. They also have the... Uh, what is it, the Nobleman Eater Bug? That can destroy two monsters on the field. Blood, Red Eyes Bee Chick, pretty classic card. Everybody remembers this one. And, oh, foil, foil, foil. Oh, no. No! Stay away! <laughs> Thank goodness this isn't an ultimate rare. But Jesse did get a foil. That's nice. But if this means that we have... Oh, my gosh. No. Please, no. Next up, we have Michael. Another Michael. Michael S. with five packs. Five packs. This is the third Michael. So one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Okay, why am I putting this right here like it's whatnot? There's there's no whatnot. This is not whatnot stream. Okay, let's move it like that. There we go. That, that gives me a lot more room when I do that. All right, four packs here. One left right now. First edition. Let's do this. Let's pull something big. So far, one super. That's it. Can we pull something? Ultimate rare. One, two, three, four. We have an Abyssal Designator, the Trojan Horse, Ritual Weapon, 
Malice Dolph Demise. Mind Crush. We have the, uh, I had a few champion pack uh, super rare versions of this. Mind Wipe and Mind Crush back to back. We have Red Eyes, Boy Chick. Skull Dog Marin and Ultimate Insect Level 1. So we've got some Ultimate Level Monsters here. Well, that's not an Ultimate. We have a Level Monster. is an Ultimate. Ultimate shit, you know. You know what I mean. Okay, so one down. Four left for Michael S. Imagine Ruxin mixed all the Michael. I did not because I, I, I made sure to not. I almost did. You'll see later, but I fixed it. Uh, thanks for the 42 months, EX Gamer. Madman. First edition pack. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Can we get our first ultimate rare? We have Element Dragon. This thing kind of cooked me in Wheel Go. It's kind of lit. Heavy Slump. Element Soldier. The Graveyard of the Fourth Dimension. In the Fourth Dimension. Unshaven Angler. Sandwich. Sangan, which is the Black Forest. An ultimate combo. Two man cell battle. The Dark Mimic level one. Little goat. Little goat action there. And. Oh, the Master of Oz, 4,200 attack between the Big Koala and the Des Kangaroo. Let's go. That is amazing. That is a really cool 4,200 rare. I mean, back in the day, I was like, holy crap. This guy's huge. He's almost as big as the Blue Eyes Ultimate. Almost as big. Third pack. Let's go. We pulled one super in this opening so far. Not enough for us. We need more. TP2 box break, we did one and only one person bought all the packs because it, it sat for a long time. Like one person bought five, nobody bought anything else. And then I lowered the price and then they bought the rest. So uh, yeah, I did one and people just didn't buy it. Mass Dragon, we have Neo Aquamador. Absolute in, we have Ultimate Baseball Kit. Don't remember level one. Two man cell battle, we got Sandwich. Unshamed Angler and ah! Ultimate Rare. Horus, the Black Flame Dragon, level six. Oh my goodness. That is a beautiful ultimate rare. Okay, and you know what's really exciting about this card, by the way. Not only is it an ultimate rare, but I think GG Vision pulled this before he pulled the level eight. Was that from a box or was that loose packs? It might have been loose packs. But that, in theory, maybe it's on the sheet kind of together. Maybe that means we're going to get the level eight. Maybe it is. Check this thing out, guys. Holy crap. That is beautiful. I've never pulled a level six before. Michael S. Congrats on the big W. That is a sweet super rare card. Or super ulti, I should say. Beautiful Horus card. Oh, my goodness. That is nice. All right. You're one for three, and you've got a really nice one for three. Two packs left. The big ulti. The big, big ulti. Because we already got one. I mean, that's one of the better cards in the set. The Horus level six. Can you break in the next box? Whenever we sell out of Enemy of Justice. That's the next one. All right. One, two, three, four. Wow. What a pull for Michael S. Mass Dragon's also really cool. Neo Aquamnor, the one tribute, 3,000 defense. He's no Millennium Shield, but he's all right. We have Absolute End. Ultimate Baseball Kid. Little Aaron Judge. We have a Unshaven Angler Sandwich. Two man, smell, not smell battle, the cell battle. Dark Mimic level one. And an ultra rare arm dragon level seven. Oh my goodness, he is cooking right now. Michael S is on fire. What in the, what is happening? An ultra rare arm dragon level seven. An ultimate rare or is the black flame dragon level six. Let's go ahead and put these in a top loader. Let's just do it now. Michael is balling right now. Whew. Okay, last pack. Last pack, first edition. Here we go. All right, that's our first level up right there, I think. One, two, three, four. Can we get something else? Let's just see. We have uh, Element Soldier. What a box so far. Heavy Slump, Element Dragon. We might go into a slump after this. Big Wave, Small Wave, level up. Arm Dragon level three. You can use level up on that. We haven't gotten to level five yet. And mind on air. Believe it or not, my mind is on air. William W. Will we pull something big for William W. All right. PSA, uh, probably a nine just because it's hot. It didn't have a ton of scuffing, so it looked maybe a chance at a 10. You never know, but it is sod, so it's pretty hard. One, two, three, four. William W., let's see what you can get. We have Gorgon's Eye. We have three foils pulls pulled so far. Okay, the, the Tribute Mooka Mooka. They really did so many Tribute retrains. They thought it might work, but all they added was 100 extra points for each card, which is not much. They made it a little bit stronger, 1,200 attack base. So, click for We have Dark Factor. We have Cemetery Bomb. Arm Dragon Level 3. Skull Dog Marin. The Level Up. And... 
one. Oh, Rafflesia Seduction. Take control of one face of monster opponent's side of the field until the end of the turn. Isn't this the same as the other dude with the the, jaw, the jowls of dark demise or whatever? What's the difference between this and that? Interesting. Next pack, first edition. Plant change of heart in a, in a monster. Did you ever get that Millennium Shield? No, I did not, unfortunately. All right, the next pack. One, two, three, four. Can we get something crazy? We have Ritual Weapon, Trojan Horse, Abyssal Designator, Ultimate Baseball Kid, Fusion Weapon, Skull Dogmare, the Arm Dragon Level 3, Cemetery Bomb, and Dark Mimic Level 3. That's at least not a tribute. <laughs> level up level 1 to level 3, totally worth it. What's level 5? Is there is there even a Dark Mimic level 5? Up next, Jarathar with two packs. Clap your hands if you believe in the chat. Here we go. Hit 200 likes. That's the way we do this. One, two, three, four. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already. Let's pull something crazy. Ritual weapon. We have Trojan Horse. Abyssal Designator with the uh, the shiny finger, not the fiery finger. We have the ultimate baseball kid. Level up on the arm dragon. Mind wipe. Two-man cell battle. Can we get our next ultimate rare for Jareth? Oh, Jama King. This is such a crazy ultimate as well. You can't get this in here because this is a hobby box. That would be a retail pull. But oh, Jama King's kind of sick as well. He's kind of dope. All right. First edition. Next pack. Jareth. Pack number 11, I think. Let's pull something big. One, two, three, four. Can we get our second ulti? We have Element Dragon. Heavy Slump. Element Soldier. The Graveyard of the Fourth Dimension. Level up. Pretty cool artwork. Noble Maneater Bug. Just flip. Destroy two monsters on the field. Pretty awesome. Cemetery Bomb. We have Arm Dragon level three. And Ninja Grand Master Sasuke. That's actually a really, really, really good card out of here for uh, GOAT format. Next up is Jordan D with two pack magic. So we get the last pack on the right side and the next pack on the left side. Here we go. Let's pull another foil. We have only pulled three so far. Only three pulled. Let's pull the level eight. One, two, three, four. We have Horace's Servant. So we now have Horace. We have Malice Doll, Malice, Malice All Demise. I, I don't know what just happened. I pulled that card and started trying to read this card. Dark Factory of Mass Production. We have Fusion Weapon. I got distracted. There's something. What is that? There's, it feels like there's something right there. What is that? It's like a reflection or something. Yeah, that's what messed with me. Okay, it ain't, ain't. Ninjutsu, uh, yeah, broke my brain. Howling Insect. This card's actually really good for insects. That, that was used recently. And, oh. Okay, hammer shot. I thought maybe we got the uh, Inferno Fire Blast. That'd be pretty awesome. There's actually some pretty sick retail ultis. Yeah, this is not a horrible retail set, like in terms of cool ultis. There are some decent ones in here. All right, pack two. One, two, three, four. All right, absolute end. Neo Aquamador, Mass Dragon, Big Wave, Small Wave, Noble Maneater. I was so sad when I did Junior Journey, I didn't get to use Noble Maneater, but I did use it, but it didn't actually come up. It would have been amazing just to set this card because you're never expecting this guy because he's so bad normally, but when you don't have to tribute, you get a two pop, which is pretty awesome. Uh, level up, I didn't get to actually use him though. Uh, Red Eyes, Boy Chick, we have the Taunt and... Uh-oh, 3,000. Oh my gosh. This could be it. <laughs> it's, oh, it's the Black Flame Dragon level 8 has been born. What in the world? Check out the back. It's the biggest card in the set. This is pretty clean on the back too. Check this thing. A little bit of a line there. A little bit of a line. That is it. Jordan D has won the lottery. <laughs> He pulled the best card in the set. We have pulled the Horus the Black Flame Dragon Level 8 Ultimate Rare for the first time on the channel. GG Vision sent us a little bit of luck. He came in and sent us a little bit of luck. What an amazing Ultimate Rare pull. Oh my goodness. PSA 10, it, it thousands. It's thousands in a PSA 10. Now, let's look at the centering. Centering pretty good maybe a little bit that way maybe a little bit down but uh, it's good enough definitely good enough the surface i don't see any corner issue i don't see any edge wear front surface looks really nice back there is some scuffing but it is not crazy for soul the duelist it's pretty decent i can't really even see it on the camera there's a little bit if you have like a there's a little bit throughout there there is a 
a end in there. This is a nine minimum. This is a nine minimum for sure. So that is insane. Jordan D. Jordan D in the chat, by the way. I think that we figured out uh, how the uh, how those clump together. Six and eight tend to come together, I think. Um, there's still a bunch of people, but it'd have to have a third ultimate. It's possible we pulled out a Rise of Destiny. What should we do? Should we ship them sealed? Or should we open the rest? What do we think? We pulled two ultis already. We pulled an ultra. Usually that's kind of like the three you get. So I'm thinking maybe we cut it off, which is a little sad because it was a short, short opening. But the thing is, the, a lot of the buyers are not here. That's the problem. Probably going to ship the other 11 packs sealed. I'll take the risk. What's your name? Oh, like, what is your your name on here? Oh, okay. Thomas U. Okay. Just, I, I don't want to say the name because then anybody could claim it and say that's them. You know what I mean? All right, if he said Thomas Yu, we do have a Thomas Yu. So, all right, Thomas Yu, we will open your pack then. Here we go. First edition. Let's go. So, we've already pulled two ultis and one ultra. There is a potential third ultra, or third ulti. That's possible. Does it... Does this card look way different to you guys? Is that card bent? Okay, let's find out what's going on here. Yeah, this card is bent. Where's the servant? That's weird. Okay, Malice Doll Demise. Oh, another horse to serve it. What is going on with this pack? Uh, Dark Factory Mass Production. Maybe they're going to mass produce some ulties. Arm Dragon Level 3. Uh, Two-man cell battle. We got the Red Eyes B Chick. Hade Hain. And here we go. Mystic Swordsman Level 2. Dude, this is such a good ulti. Yeah, that's a retail ulti. That's really good. Okay, so nothing in that one. That leaves us 10 packs left. Nick P up next. Here we go. Let's see if we can get a little uh, extra juice in this box. Just make it even better. Even if we get a super, we would probably want something like, I don't know, Horus level six. That'd be pretty cool. Let's try that. Getting an ultra. Uh, the ultras can be pretty decent. You can get a Horus ultra. So like PSA 10 Horus ultra. Uh, they said PSA 10 ultra was like $600 or something. So the ult, I mean, that's a pretty big ultra. Four from the back. We have absolute, I can't believe it's that much for the ultra. We have Neo Aquamador, Mass Dragon. Big Wave, Small Wave, Sandwich. We have Unshaven Angler, Votaunts, Red Eyes Be Chick. Hey, oh, okay. Did we get some? Oh, Mobius! I forgot Mobius was in here. That could be a hobby ulti, too. This is not an ulti, but it is a super. That's one of the best cards you're going to get. Super rare. Mobius the Frost Monarch. All right, Nick. Congrats on the... Dude, this box is incredible. Incredible box. The level 7 Ultra... The Mobius Super, the Horuses. I mean, oh my goodness. What in the world? That's why we open it right there. All right. Thank you guys who are in the, uh, everybody who was in the stream and stuff like that. We, we pulled a little early, but it was totally worth it for the pulls we got. That was amazing. I'll see you guys in the next stream. And if you guys are watching the video, amazing pulls. I'm pumped. Peace. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chang Lang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.